I'm the new geology instructor. And how long have you been here in Barstow? Uh, less than two months. Now, you're going to be offering a course on dinosaurs that roam the high desert? Is that, is that what it's all about? That's right. I'm here today to tell you about uh, a new uh, geology course uh, that I've developed at the college, uh, through the college. It's called Age of the Dinosaurs. Age of the Dinosaurs. Yeah. Now, you just corrected me, a three-toed horse isn't a dinosaur? Well, no. And a lot of these other things like uh, mammoths and uh, plesiosaurs, swimming reptiles, are not dinosaurs as well. That's actually one of the first things we go into in the course, is what is and what is not a dinosaur. So, do dinosaurs have wings and... No, the pterosaurs that flew around are not dinosaurs either. Uh, there's a very specific definition for a dinosaur, uh, uh, basically an extinct uh, reptile that had an upright posture and walked on land. Okay, so how many different species of dinosaurs were, were in the high desert? With respect to the, the, the high desert it itself, there are uh, actually a couple localities where uh, dinosaur tracks have been found. Uh, indicating the presence of dinosaurs during the Jurassic period of time. So, like, let's say out of Rainbow Basin, because Bill and I, we went on a dig with some archaeologists one day, and they showed us 14 million-year-old bones of this three, three-toed horse. Now, is, is that where they roamed, or just all over the, all over the spot, all over the high Well, uh, the, the bones that uh, I'm talking about, and I actually brought one here uh, to show you, uh, right yeah. here, um, these are up to um, 180, 200 million wow. years old. Yeah, and um, uh, a lot of you find a lot of these in in the desert southwest. And actually, the environment that these dinosaurs lived in is pretty close to the environment that you see today. Uh, just really a, a desert environment, uh, maybe a little bit more hot, actually, believe it or not, than in Barstow. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I always consider the high desert because these archaeologists we talk to. We're telling us how the, the high desert one time was lush and green and water all over the place, you know, not the barren desert that we know it today. Yeah, it went through different stages, and that's another thing that we, uh, we cover in the course, uh, from a dry desert to a much more uh, moist environment over time. Oh, that's, that's yeah. pretty interesting. Now, you brought us some other interesting little items here yeah, for, besides this bone. Yeah, well, the, the bone, I just wanted to show you one other thing on the bone. If you look at how it's been cut. You can see the bone here. marrow right in there. Exactly. You can see the vascular canals here. And uh, they're very, very dense, uh, the vascular canals. Now, this correlates well with modern mammals and birds as far as that density is concerned. You look at a modern-day reptile, and uh, it, it's a, a very, very sparse uh, density of uh, the vascular canals. So in a nutshell, what this means is that as far as the bone uh, microstructure is concerned, dinosaurs more closely resembled uh, modern-day warm-blooded animals than cold-blooded yeah. animals. So this is often used as evidence toward uh, warm-bloodedness in dinosaurs. You know, and you got me interested in these stones you got right here when you told me that the dinosaurs would actually swallow stones to... yes these are called gastroliths and what gastroliths are are stomach stones uh dinosaurs some dinosaurs namely the the brontosaur like dinosaurs swallowed these stones and then used these stones to grind up their food they didn't have molars like like you and me so um they had to use stones in order to uh, grind their food for the digestive process. So, so they would, so, yeah. So they would have to swallow these stones? They swallowed these stones, and then the stones themselves became uh, very uh, well-rounded and highly polished, as you see them now. Now, I often get a question, the next question I might get is, well, how do you know that those aren't just uh, something polished by a end. stream or something yeah. like that? Uh, these stones were actually found in the stomach cavity of a sauropod dinosaur. Oh, OK. Yeah. That's so that gives you a high degree of confidence when that happens. And then what, what's this other? That's a dinosaur brain, you said? Yeah, this last item here is called an endocast. And what an endocast is, uh, it's, it's a replica of uh, a dinosaur brain. And the way that this is uh, formed is you uh, take a, um, a cast mold of the inside of the dinosaur's brain case. And then you extract this, this mold, and there you go. Uh, you can see the different lobes here. Uh, uh, endocasts are good for uh, studying uh, how well uh, some of the dinosaurs, uh, uh, the, how, how keen their vision was, uh, how well their sense of smell was, uh, hearing, 
et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this particular endocast happens to be um, the uh, brain from Tyrannosaurus rex, Man, that's the a most famous dinosaur, dinosaur right? of all. Yes, <laughs> did not have a real large brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it basically is, eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, where, where's this course going to be held at that you're going to give it? Um, the course uh, is through Barstow College, but it is actually being held at the new Desert Discovery Center, which is located at 831 Barstow Road. And that's the old BLM? BLM it is. It is. Um, and um, the, uh, the, the college itself has uh, signed an agreement uh, with the BLM in order to provide educational activities uh, through that center. Uh, educational activities in terms of um, natural resource interpretation, uh, desert studies, and uh, general uh, environmental education. Now, how long is it? Now, the course is going to be? Now. The course is every uh, Tuesday and Thursday, 1 o'clock to 3.50 p.m., and uh, we'll start on March 16th and end on May 20th. So it's a nine-week course, uh, and you still get the spring break off. Oh, too. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how many units do they get? I mean, uh, they three get... units. Uh, it satisfies natural science credit. Uh, it's also fully transferable, so it's a real good deal. Well, Scott, I mean, this sounds really interesting. So if you're interested in the dinosaurs that roam the high desert, it sounds like a real interesting course to get, get involved in. They can get a hold of you up the college. Or... They, they sure can. Uh, they can call me at 252-2411, extension 7301. I'm going to show a movie. I'm going to show uh, Jurassic Park, and we're going to uh, review it from the standpoint as if it was uh, technically correct. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so join up on the class, and we'll be right back after this.